Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to make a bridal bouquet and I'm going to use monochromatic colors. I kind of talk a lot about how it's easier to put together a bouquet when you kind of use the same color scheme, especially with whites. Um, you don't have to worry quite as much about placement uh, and spacing. It all kind of blends together as a whole. So the only thing I'm going to be concerned about is the shape. I'm going for a typical kind of domed oval shape, or not oval, round shape uh, that you usually see in just kind of a hand-tied bridal bouquet. And I'm using silk flowers. It's really amazing how realistic they, they look. But by adding the dried baby's breath, I thought it gave it more of a fresh feel, kind of made it feel more real uh, to look at. And I started off by gathering the roses in groups. Um, I taped them together with some wax floral tape. Uh, again, I'm kind of just more concerned about the shape that I'm making, and I wasn't too concerned about the uh, spacing. So by grouping them together, it just makes a nice uh, round, a, a bigger focal flower, kind of like the dahlias that are also in there. Um, and I am just adding uh, some pink uh, filler flowers and then also along the collar of the bouquet I'm gonna tuck in some Dusty Miller I thought that looked really pretty with that that pink there kind of light and fresh looking and also I had kind of a winter green but it's in this minty color like the Dusty Miller and I kind of liked how it draped over so you don't you don't always have to add a collar around the, the bouquet but it's just kind of nice to help hide the mechanics and kind of uh, finish that edge of the bouquet and then once I fluffed it, <laughs> I'm gonna, you could tie it off with a chenille stem. I just went right in with the wax floral tape. It's not too many stems in the bouquet, so I felt like that would hold just fine. And I'm gonna tape it all the way down to the bottom, and then I'm gonna trim the end. And I wanna show you how I wrap uh, the stems of the bridal bouquet. So I just finished a little bit lower on the, the stems there with the wax floral tape. And regardless if you tie it off with a chenille stem or not, I suggest using the floral tape. It helps hold the ribbon there. And this is a double-faced satin ribbon. It is wired. Um, it really doesn't make a difference if it's wired or not. This one just happened to be wired. So I go down the back of the bridal bouquet. And, and you will know when you have like a front and a back to the bouquet. You can see there's like almost where you had been holding it. Um, there's like a definite front and back and I'm just going to run the ribbon down the back and then all the way to the tip I'll make like a letter L and then start twisting it back up and by using that ribbon that I ran down the back it's kind of my marker in case I get lost and it helps me find the back of the bouquet again and then once I go all the way to the top just cut it off and I'm going to give it a nice tight twist and then to keep it up at the top there you can hot glue it but I, I always like using a corsage pin now that one's way too long so I'll trim it back about a finger's width there and then tuck it right in and it's also nice for whoever's carrying the bridal bouquet it's just kind of like a marker oh yeah this is the back of the bouquet I'm actually putting two pins in there. I wasn't too um, happy with the first one, how it went in. And the second one took a lot longer to go in, so I know it was in nice and tight. <laughs> and then with the tails of the ribbon, I'm just going to cut them off and kind of um, tuck them into the bouquet. You can cut them off and then also tuck them down and behind the ribbon, too, if you really want to hide those ends. But it was a nice clean cut, so I'm just going to kind of tuck it into my stumps in the back there. And so once that's all together, we'll show you the final product. And it's just a monochromatic bouquet for a wedding or any special event. And then a stem wrap and some um, double-sided satin ribbon. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching.